I still think you got scanned. Some classified things. The trainer had to cancel. My Fancy waggy beef. Now we're engaged. I can't exactly afford to take a, a $5,000 hit. The bag situation has escalated and they have now ghosted me. Um, I've been working with like two different insurance people that both claim to have been, you know, they're like, we're gonna take care of this. And I sent my itemized list. The shuttle people apparently are a fly-by-night service that uh, Marriott hires to take their guests to and from the airport, so they're arguing whose responsibility it is. At the end of the day, I'm the one who gets lost a lot of stuff. It's a huge inconvenience, and it continues to be one. The least I could do is answer a phone call and let me know what's up. So, that being the case, we're going to have to call them. Uh, so yeah, stay tuned for hopefully a resolution so I can stop thinking about this. I don't know how long this, this may take, but I think they said 10 minutes. This is like an exemplification of like what the corporate ladder looks like. Trying to get a hold of one person who's actually able to be in charge of something. Playing the waiting game doesn't really seem to work these days with these people. Their Google stars say like 4.3 star hotel, 1,068 Google reviews. Wow, the worst review is just somebody complaining about being woken up, w woken up <clears throat> saying that they needed to ch check out because I mean, they were they were supposed to check out and they slept in. That's that's still not a thing. I was expecting to see. They lost my bag. My whole family died. The trainer had to cancel, and I was going to lead it. And then I'm like, I got way too much work to do if I want to leave here on time. And then the constant whining by Miracle and Brett being like, no. Seamus, he's just a creature in his own self. He didn't say anything, but just by him being here made it that much more difficult to even just facilitate this. But overall, really busy trying to leave. RV life is a lot of work, and I, I, sh I should have done it, but I just don't have time. I've officially pushed Lydia too far. Oh no, you don't know when you push me too far. Oh no, I'm gonna... What the f***? <laughs> oh, what are you doing? He's trying to do my work? What the f*** is this? I'm gonna talk about, um, stuff. How's it going, Nick? Well, you didn't give me any warning, so you wanna zoom in on that? This is my, my engagement ring for my lovely fiance, Andrew to whom I'm now getting married. Hello. Who the hell's Andrew? Yeah, shut up. Oh, you mean right. Andy? Yes, Andy. Oh. Andrew is his real name. That's Andy is his alter ego. Is it, is it? Is it actually Andrew on your birth certificate? Like, my brother's Ben on his birth certificate, but not, name? not Benjamin. Yeah, like, my, my friend's name is Alex, and his name is not Alexander, and people call him that. Yeah, that's my it's grandfather. Amazing. Yeah, but Sammy. I am actually Andrew. But no middle name. No middle name. Your first name is Andrew. Yeah, in case Your you're trying to steal my true. identity you or can't. anything. Just so you know, it's Andrew, no middle name Leiterman. So I'm going to steal your identity from that? 
Maybe we'll see. He doesn't talk very much at first, and I was like, oh, that guy seems cool. Brett did all the talking for both of them, which... That's bullshit. That's true, and you know it. Not true. At least at first. I met them in the basement. It was very exciting. They were gonna come and skate. I was like, oh boy, we hired a bunch of skaters. I don't remember Look at this. that. You don't remember, remember that? Mm -hmm. Well, this is the first time I met you guys. You guys have probably been here for a little bit. Um, and Andy was going to be the skate park manager. How long did that last for? Like three months. Yeah, and then they realized that you're really good at everything, so they promoted you to CTO. I think that's what happened. So he got promoted to CTO because he's really good at everything, especially tech, and he's a huge nerd, which is great, and I love it. He's wearing fake glasses. No, those are they're real glasses. They're not real glasses. Yeah, they are. They're Would literally you wear glasses. Fake? Would you literally wear a fake glasses? Hearing aid? Would you wear a fake hearing aid for fashion sense? I wear uh, that's fake clearly glasses. what that's you what do. That's what you're doing. This is an earbud. This is it. This is speakers. <laughs> this is Bluetooth speakers. But they're masquerading as glasses. This they're is glasses. No, those I'm are masquerading as a, as a hearing aid. Red spin triggered. I'm it's, triggered. It's, it's, it's literally <laughs> equivalent. <laughs> I'm triggered. Good work, everyone. This is like a perfect analogy between the two. I'm half triggered. I'm only half deaf. <laughs> I'm only half triggered. <laughs> Great work. Great work, Any, everyone. Anyway. anyway. Andrew was promoted to CTO. He's very smart. He keeps us from being DDoS too often, right? And then <laughs> <It's> working <laughs> on it. He, he built multiple studios, which is where I first really started to admire him because he set up this whole studio and then he set up the portable studio and then he expanded the portable studio so we could have Joe Rogan and he injured himself on two different occasions on that trip and wasn't sleeping at all. So he did all of this on zero sleep with actual physical injuries that nicked arteries and stuff. So pretty impressive. I was like, wow, that's pretty, that's pretty um, honorable. I like that. And then we started hanging out around Thanksgiving. We went to the arcade. That was very fun because he was, wanted to get out and do stuff and not go see a movie, as I recall. I was anxious. Yeah. And uh, I was quitting nicotine. Right. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was what it was. And he wanted to go to the, um, Casino. The casino is depressing. Um, that's his hobby. Uh, I don't have like eight thousand dollars to spend at the craps table or whatever. So <laughs> I'll go with him sometimes because it is kind of fun. But that's not definitely not my hobby. So given the choice between going to the casino and going to the arcade with these two, I chose the latter. And that was, I guess, officially technically our first date. Sort of. I don't yeah. think it can be a date if I'm there as third wheel. No, that's fine. You can be third wheel. <laughs> you can be third wheel in on a date. Yeah, it's fun. Um, that is a really fun arcade. Um, we're gonna have to go there in the future for sure. Um, and then what? And then we just kind of like started hanging out and never stopped. Now we're engaged. And then they thought they were fooling people. No, we didn't. We never thought that. They absolutely thought we that. never thought that. And he's like, I'm dating Lydia. I'm like, wow. I couldn't have guessed. Couldn't have guessed. Oh yeah, we. Um, I never, I never wanted to hide it, but she wanted to. I was like, I'm not sure. I want to be professional. Low. I wanted to be professional. I was like, well, I'm not sure how to frame this because it is a little um, scandalous. It's like Dawn is actually <laughs> scandalous. Lydia. Dawn is Lydia, and I'm like, yeah, I know that because I'm not a moron. Uh huh. Brett's not a moron. He informs us. <laughs> Confidently. <laughs> Dawn is actually the name of a girl who who stood me up. I'm way better than Dawn. Before we started hanging. Because I didn't stand out. Andy up. Who would do such a so thing? So I just started saying that she was my girlfriend. Because. because Lydia didn't. Which she is why I called Lydia Dawn. <laughs> <didn't want. laughs> Shut up. Um, don't call me Dawn. Um, when we first hung out at my apartment, we were watching movies because he was waiting to see if he heard back from this other lady. I was like, oh, I hope she responds because I actually, at the time, I did want him to like find this lady and just be happy and like because I knew you wanted to get married and have family and everything. So um, I was like, oh, you know, that's that's great. I'm really happy for you. This won't bother me at all when you go on this date with this other lady who's trying to string you along. That sounds fine. So yeah, it was great. <laughs> it ended up working out, thankfully for me, right? Anything to add, sir? I love you. I love you too. It's a concise summary of your dog moving into my apartment and taking over and fighting with my cat and eating your eating things. my things, my various things that I wish she had eaten. <laughs> and Dip trying to scratch her in the eyeball. It's fun. It's very dramatic behind the scenes at uh, Andy and Lydia, whatever our celebrity couple. What is our celebrity couple name? We need help with that. We need help figuring out a celebrity couple name. No. Andia. Yeah. Andia is pretty good. Sour Patch. Sour Patch Andy Pants? Right? That's what I was thinking. 
When are you gonna have Sour Patch Kids? Eventually, <clears throat> as soon as possible. I got a bunch of stuff I have to do first. Medical stuff, I got other stuff to sort out. Yeah, I have, I have adult stuff to handle, which is stressful, but necessary. Who's so. picking the names? He is not picking the names. He wants to name our daughter Nar. You wanna tell him what you wanna name our other son? Our second son? No. No, I'll okay. This. <laughs> no, right. this is not up for public discussion. <laughs> it's not up for discussion. No, I really wanna tell everyone what you wanna name our second son. Second? Yeah. Milton Friedman Jr. No, it's a very <laughs> terrible um No. No, <laughs> we're not gonna share that. Turn off the camera. <laughs> here's here's the deal. It's you know I, I'm going on a Christmas vacation. I, I go to Marriott. It's a six minute shuttle ride to the airport. I didn't expect to, you know, have both my bags ejected from the shuttle and one of them being lost. I paid for that bag to be checked. I spent the first part of my vacation borrowing my mom's car to go rebuy everything because they said, hey, you know, we're gonna reimburse you for this. It's our fault. And now here I am, you know, I had to, it's not, I can't exactly afford to take a, a $5,000 hit on this trip because someone else lost my bags. I'm at work right now. I got to get to work, but I also can't just let this go. This so. thing's cool. Seamus is going to be so jealous. I'm not ever jealous because jealousy is a character flaw and I don't have those. Sorry, Tim. That sounds like a seven, one of the seven deadly sins, Seamus. Which one? Not being sinful? It's actually Pride. a vice of virtue. Pride? No. See, humility is knowing your place and taking it. I know that I'm perfect. <laughs> well, that is true. Tim no, seems like he is perfect. Seamus is perfect in every way. What is this? Perpetual motion machine. Is this a new motor for the blender? This is a perpetual motion machine. There's no such thing. Yeah, there is. Oh. Maybe Seamus should start reading real science. Bro, I read of Fauci yeah. science. I read way more science than you. Everybody remembers that speech from Fauci where he was like, everybody knows perpetual motion is not real. And that's, that is the exact opposite. It's, like, it's within our grasp. If you donate to my GoFundMe, we will make a perpetual motion machine and solar roadways. It's supposed to do something at some point. Yeah, so is Fauci. Is that, is this it? Is this all it is? It's a perpetual motion machine. Tim, who told you that was a perpetual motion machine? The How internet. much did they get you to pay for it? <laughs> 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 it's solar power. It's Bro, this is some like magic bean <laughs> if I ever saw. Magic bean. <laughs> Do you see this? Look at it go! Do you see this ad in the back of a comic book? Yeah, I think so. I don't know. Amazon told me to buy it and I got excited. Honestly, it's like. It's not a purchase I would regret, but I still think you got scammed. No way, dude. Look at that. Look at that, dude. It's just gonna keep going forever. Spectral motion machine confirmed. Oh, shit. Like, no jump power. Break your finger off. No, re really? Yeah, this is a utility tool bracelet. Should I uh, take my belt off? Yes. It's like an MRI. Oh, I think I saw one of these. You ever see one of these? You got like a crap ton of like... So these, for all of these are like screwdrivers and you can go like that. Look at that. And sockets and different shapes. Oh, that's pretty cool. And, and then you from Leatherman? I have no idea. <laughs> and then there's somehow you, somehow you open this up. No. How do you open this thing? Oh, there's a bottle of water. There you go, look at that. So there's a bunch of these. That's pretty cool. What did you get them for? Just for people. We got some copper bars. You want one pound of copper, Shane? Of course I want a pound of copper, bro. That's why All I can't. Right. Terabyte memory cards. What is this for me? I'd rather have that. Ooh, this is heavy. What's this? What could this be, Seamus? A copper bar. Copper bar? It is! Ah, nice! Oh, what would I even do with this? They're, they're paperweights. I don't know why, but I wanted them. They're one pound copper ingots. I wanted it, now I have it. And I don't know what to do with it. One pound copper ingot. Look at that. Paperweights. For people putting on their papers so that they get weighted down. Wow. Yep. Wonderful. This is... A non-precious metal. Fancy waggy beef. What is this? Tim Pool. That is my name. 
Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. What is this? Oh, levitating light bulbs. What? And flaming. You don't want more perpetual motion machines? What is this thing? Oh, frisbees. We have a disc golf thing coming. Uh, you want a levitating light bulb? There are actual lights that actually light up. Hey, Kitty. Yeah, let's open up over here, see what we got. Oh, okay, here we go. Here's the really dangerous one. Does it say dangerous? Oh, yes, it does. Nine magnets? Yeah. Don't put your <laughs> anywhere here. You have to keep your phone away. And... Your phone's probably fine. Look at this. Super huge, very dangerous. No, they're just one inch by one inch, not the biggest. Kind of scary. Super strong. Okay, we gotta be careful with the box. Someone's gotta screw up and wipe all their credit cards. Ooh. More. Hey, Luke, where's your uh, where's your wallet? Huh, huh, huh. Fine. Wait, you see this? Hey, stop spinning. Bro, I told you, it's fake. How was it even supposed to work, to be honest? I have no idea. Dude, this technology is beyond us. I'm gonna have to take a look. Is it supposed to, like, are these supposed to be like little solar panels? Are they these are little solar panels that give it enough charge to make it spin in one direction. Mm -hmm. hey. It just needs to be left in the sun to charge out then. Maybe you're causing all of life's problems. I mean, yeah, it's possible. Not at all, no. So, I would just say change. Alright, I don't know how to do this. Also, is it a perpetual motion machine if yeah. it's solar powered? Yeah, put that no, yeah, I was gonna that's say, that's like not perpetual motion. motion. Yeah, that thing's. It's false advertising, bro. It didn't advertise it as one. Oh. Uh, I'm just telling you that. Why would you lie to me? I'm sorry, I thought I could trust my friend to cool. Oh my gosh. See the misinformation spreads? That, that is legit pretty cool. Light bulb? Yeah, that cool. That is pretty cool. <laughs> so I just got off the phone with Marriott Corporate, I guess you would call it. And um, ultimately, uh, it ended with the executive not being able to do anything about it other than open up a new case from their end of things or side of things, uh, which should take like four to five more days. We're in this big loop with, you know, that hotel, that hotel. They're trying to say it's not their fault, it's the hotel's fault, even though they franchise the hotel. I'm not a lawyer. Um, the whole thing seems very time consuming and uh, not, not cool. So at this point, uh, there is no resolution. And um, if I don't hear from you in a week, uh, we'll have no other choice to figure something else out. So can I get it to spin? Hold on, let's see how long I can get it to spin without it falling. Oh my goodness, dude. It just doesn't want to obey me at this point. There we go. We're just gonna start gents. No, no, 